Okay, um, I had some people asking how to put the Death Watch Blaster together. So I'm going to show you kind of the basic way that I go about putting the parts together. This one's a really simple build, um, other than just the little pieces that have to be plugged in. Uh, it goes together really well and I tried to design it to be exactly like the uh, flare, uh, the smoke grenade launcher that it was built off of. So uh, one thing I do recommend getting is a set of needle files like you see here. Uh, this little one here works really good for cleaning out the little holes. Um, also sometimes you might want to have some of the little dental tools like this uh, to help clean out uh, pieces, uh, pick out um, parts of the um, supports that are still hanging in there. Um, you know, like right here, you can see there's little nubs here still left. Um, and also, your handy dandy little snipper tool works really well. And your X-Acto knife, be very careful, um, you can cut your finger really bad. I've done that several times, you can see there, there's, a, there's one that's healing up. <laughs> and uh, super glue works really well for this. So the first thing, um, I like taking the little round needle file and just kind of cleaning out the holes here. Uh, you can see that you can just kind of run it through there and that way do that a few times get it kind of cleaned out um, so that way when you run the pegs through they will fit a little easier without having to trim the peg down just like that um, on your little um, oh, D-ring connector. I don't know that you really need to clean it out too much. Uh, just kind of clean the, um, like see right here, I have a little bit of the support left over. So I just gotta open up that hole. This will fit right in here, in the bottom there. So you can see like that. And you'll want it to where the holes are sitting like that. And um, to connect it, um, once you push it in there like that, make sure it kind of fits. And take your super glue here and just put a couple drops in there the super glue on these plastic printed parts seem to work the best and that will set up um, on the, the way that you print this I usually print it sitting like that so you have support uh, remnants on the back side here so I'll just take my exacto knife and just kind of get the main parts off of that once you're got it all done then just run your sandpaper on here uh, I like using the pet G pla uh, filament because uh, it sands a lot better and it also is uh, holds up to the heat a lot more so there's that and then you can take one of your little D-rings here. Uh, and I would recommend to replace this with a metal one uh, that you would get from like a um, rifle connector. And then just pull it gently and stick it in there like that. 
So there you have that part. Okay, next, here is the kind of the mechanism, the trigger mechanism. Um, so you've got a hole here and you have a hole here and um, then it just kind of fits into the stock like this. So you can see like that. And to get it to attach, so you can have, get it in there nice and firm the way you like it. Make sure it fits really well. And then once again, just take a little bit of super glue. Put it right there. Some right in here. And some right here. And right there. And then push it in there. And that will lock that in place. Um, so as you're finishing these, if you don't like those little gaps like that, just get some Bondo putty as you're filling that and then fill those little gaps in. Um, but the real uh, gun probably has very similar gaps in it, just the way that it's made. Uh, and off a couple of little pieces of support that were inside here. So there you have that part. Uh, then back here is where your butt plate goes, just like that and it just fits in just like that uh, and so once again take your shoe for glue and just run you some super glue here around the edge there careful not to get too much of that super glue on your finger or your mouth <laughs> And then just set that in there like that. And let that sit for a little bit. Okay. Um, next, here's your barrel. Um, the uh, screen used one, this part was separate. He took a separate piece of metal and cut it in there, but printed. Uh, it's just easier to make it a single piece like that. Um, it would just it makes it easier to print this whole section here. If you don't, uh, and you have this separate, um, you're going to have a lot more lines um, to contend with on the barrel part here. And then you have your sight right there, and it goes in like that. Uh, so. Uh, that sight is a little bit of a tight squeeze, so I'll take my X-Acto knife or my file and just kind of rub the edges of it here. Uh, also there's a little bit of support left inside that tab there, so I'll just kind of pick that off and make it smooth. Your exacto knife. There you go. And get it right there. And let's see if that will fit. Okay, it's getting close. This one here has still got some of the um, where it was attached to the bed. So I'll run my razor blade. The one that's got a sharper blade. And just kind of run it down the edge here. Just trim off a little bit. And
now, let's see if it'll fit. It's getting close. See, that fits in there, just like that. So now, if you can take it back out, there you go. You need a little bead, a super glue there. that and then here was your grip see it just fits like that right there the main thing is to make sure that it is straight so you just got to kind of eyeball it there and um, I'll probably wait till I attach it to the barrel so that the gun is more stabilized but it will attach right here okay now here is your flash suppressor and it just inserts right inside the barrel end here and it's a nice tight fit just like that so now once you get it like that make sure it fits and just run a uh, bead of uh, super glue around the edge there and just kind of set that in place okay so there you have that and okay next so now that this is set for a little bit the uh, butt plate is attached and this part has attached now this part will just like that um, so it is just like the rifle or the block or the uh, grenade launcher uh, so it fits just like that and goes like so um, here you have a hole uh, for the lock mechanism and this is where you will have the pivot pin and then this will be the pin for the trigger so, uh, first off, uh, get your file and run it through where the trigger goes and just clean that out. And then this one here, do the same thing. connection right here So the connection pin is this right here. Um, I would probably recommend just getting a metal um, screw, uh, um, the one that feeds through and has a metal shaft and then the other end screws inside of it. You can pick them up at uh, Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot in the assorted uh, screws and weird fastener bins. Um, but Clint trim the excess support off of this piece like that and then push it in and if it is 
being cantankerous. just a little bit more. Um, sometimes uh, just run your exacto knife in there like that. tap it too hard. Kind of see, see if you can get fit and then just pry it up so gently. side um, it does have a little hole inside there uh, so that those two can fit together um, there's a little crud in there Let me clean that out those two pins together. Um, like that other one. Probably just needs a little... Oh. There it went. Well, when you drop one on the floor, that's why you always have a spare. So... off of that. And you can kind of clean that tab out, that hole out just a little bit. particular so I will pull this pin out on that side and flip it over clean that hole out a little bit more So I wanted to be able to show you this um, and just see, show you it in a real life uh, way. Um, I'm just an average guy doing this just like any of the rest of you. And so I just want you to know that any of you can do this. Uh, it's not a hard task to learn. Pin will fit in there. There we go. So I will just push it until it's smooth. Stick that in there.
Let's fill one in. Packages. There we go. So now that pan is together. Next, I'll do the locking pin here. What you have right here. Just like that. So now, take your little plastic pin like that, and you you know if you want to, you can change that out with a uh, metal rod. Uh, it's about the same size as a coat hanger. Okay, it's just about in there. all connected. Um, so there you have that. And then your trigger will go here just like that. Uh, once again clean out the hole. Get you another little pin right here. And line it up. I just had a little tiny hammer. Maybe somebody could get me one. That'd be nice. See if I can pause this video. Okay, I'm back. I must not have it lined up. There we go. And it is in. 
So there you have your main body. So the trigger will move some. Uh, you could probably put like a little spring inside here or here if you're clever. And so now you just have to uh, attach your trigger guard right there like that. Um, and that's just going to super glue it in place. So take your little super glue here and then right here. And line up there like so. And hold that a few seconds. So there you go. Okay, so now we got that part done. That's the main part of the gun is complete. There, as you can see, uh, all that's left is the uh, attaching the grip and then putting the scope on. So, like I said, the grip attaches right there like that. Uh, main thing is just making sure that it's lined up straight. About like that. So. And then um, put your super glue here. You don't need just a ton of super glue, I guess. Little dab will do you, right? And then attach and hold in place. Nice and straight. And oh. I didn't hold it long enough. Um, you could probably also drill a hole here and here and attach some screws uh, to give it that much more strength. There we go. So, there you go. Oh, maybe I need some more. So, just hold that for a few minutes. Now also, you will have to attach another pin right here for your belt ring, like what you have up here. Okay, I think it's glued now. Okay, I'll just let that sit there. Okay, now your scope, um, you have this rail here 
and it will attach across the top of the barrel. Like that right there. Um, right there like that. So in order to put that on there, earn your super glue down there. that in place like that and make sure you get it lined up straight grip also so I'll just run a bead down the barrel minute or so for it to set up. Okay, I will set that right here behind the camera, let it dry. While I build the scope. Um, so the scope has like a typical scope rail, uh, like what you have here. Clean your end pieces off. Like that. And then this piece here uh, will slide in like so. Maybe.
almost. There's halfway. And then you have your little sight adjustment knobs here. Uh, they just pop on there. So I take a little bit of super glue right there. And push that together like so and then get your other one here another tab of glue So, and then you have this will attach like that. Um, I will super glue it on there, and then I will take four s small uh, Allen head screws and just attach into there uh, for the look. Um, it'd be the main thing. And then you have your adjustment knob here and the end of your scope right here and it just fits on right like that. adjustment knob like that and that like that and this like that and attach like so so there you have your scope and the scope will attach right here so, like that. Um, actually, this part is backward so that that groove will fit in there like that. So, um, this piece does not seem to be wanting to stay glued down, so I'll get some something better than super glue here in a little bit. But this part here will glue right there. that like that and then 
there you have it. It's all put together. So, just like that. So, this will just be super glued onto here, like that. And then, like I said, I'll run some attachments there. Um, but, and if this doesn't stay together with super glue, then I'll go get some E6000 out in the garage and attach it that way. Um, but there you have it. So there is the Death Watch Blaster basic build for you. And uh, that should be pretty uh, self explanatory. And if you would like one, contact Wood Tech Armory. And I will either print you out one, or if you'd like to print your own, I have the models available. And I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, have a good evening. Thank you very much.